Bruh, how many times are you gonna get caught, bruh? Like, have you ever learned your lesson, my boy? Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get into this video. But I just want to say, what's good, CSG? Welcome back to another video. We here with another EDP video, bro. I I I just can't. I I just can't like come come to uh. If you feel me, I, I I just can't, bro. I just can't. This 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 dude need help, bro. This dude need help, bro. But we we finna get right into it, bro. All right, what's going oh on, everybody? God, Welcome bro. back to another video. And honestly, man, I hate to sound. All right, like, there's what's no going way he on, did everybody? It. Welcome back Again. to another video. And honestly, man, I hate to sound so excited to talk about something so screwed up, something so messed up in the hey, first nah. place. But I'm going to be real with you, man. I just don't even understand why we're back here at square one. You know what I mean? Like, it's I just fact, am bro. not understanding how this is all coming back full circle the way that it did. Because obviously the first time this happened, this was huge news, right? Like it was mm. talked about for months, you know, when EDP 445 first got caught basically uh getting himself a cupcake if that's really how we want to go ahead and say it here so uh yeah edp 445 man if you don't know the story you haven't heard about this guy literally hide your kids hide your wife because he's coming you know what i mean and he, he's gonna he's gonna be trying to, to come Fucking in more than one way so let's go ahead and make sure all minors <clears throat> are out of the room no children are near this guy because uh any opportunity he sees he will be trying that's so. what i'm saying bro any anybody in his facility bro or facility Vicinity, how you say it again? Vicinity, 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 whatever it is. All right, uh, anybody around him, bro? Y'all, y'all, get, get, get away from this dude. He like another Epstein, bro. Get this, get this dude out of here. We need to pack his bag. No, he need to pack his bags. He need to get out of here. <laughs> he need to go somewhere else, bro. Like, we don't need you down here, bro. We don't need you, bro. And then pack your other, you know, other people around you too. Back the same person that, you know, exposed it. He needs exposing himself. I think he already got exposed. But he he really needs something else, bro. Come on, bro. So, uh, we are back Get again talking about the man, the myth, back the legend, the cupcake hunter himself, EDP445. <laughs> All right, so uh, <clears throat> there's new video evidence that we're going to be taking a look at here today of EDP445 basically exposing himself in 4K once again. Now, if you don't remember the first situation, you don't really know what I'm referring to here. YouTuber EDP445, like a year and a half ago or so, it's been a long time. It's been like a year and a half, maybe two years, something like that now since it really kind of happened, but EDP445. EDP445 uh, basically got caught trying to meet up with an underage girl and uh, there was messages shared between the two that were very vulgar, very disgusting. Essentially, EDP445 is a pedophile. Like, there's really no other way to say it, man. Like, this guy, he, this is the second time that there's been a major incident like this where this guy is just getting exposed for some shit like this. Bro, and, and have y'all noticed? Have y'all been seeing, like, his little TikTok accounts, bro? That is so disgusting, bro. Like, I remember scrolling on my TikTok timeline, right? Because I, I barely, like, watch TikTok. So, so I remember scrolling on my TikTok timeline, and I'm seeing EDP eating a fucking cupcake, my nigga. Like, why am I seeing that, bro? And he's live doing it. And he's saying, and, 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 and I, 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 he, he had read a comment saying, like, why would you do it? He was like, he was like, so? He said it, like, nonchalant or something like that bro and then bro this dude he did not care on what he did like he said he 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 didn't know he didn't know uh if that sh i can't even cuss though no. i can't even cuss i can't even cuss man it is it, it's, it's bothering me it's bothering me it's bothering me <laughs> all right all right so he, he he was like uh am i really in a wrong for doing that Weird ass boy. And even like the first time around, bro, I don't even know if you can really escape the allegations at that point either, dude. Yeah, There's just no crazy. real good way to come out of this entire thing. But EDP 445 had that whole situation unfold. You know, he's kind of tried to lay low ever since then. Uh, he's apparently been kind of like moving around. He's been uh, apparently a lot of people have been like finding out where he lives and like contacting jobs in his area, trying to make sure he doesn't get hired. Like people have been trying to ruin this guy's life. He's been trying to come back to social media. He needs to be after in jail, basically bro. getting out 
outed as a pedophile and everything. And from there on, right, there's just been a, a pretty big problem with this guy. Everyone just kind of views him the same way. He's a scumbag. He's trying to take advantage of kids. He's just weird, right? There's just no world or way in which this is an acceptable way to behave. Like, you should not be seeking out, like, 13-year-old girls, you know what I mean? And, like, trying to have relationships Ain't he with like them. Thirty? Like, that's just weird, bro. I, I don't... I, there's no way to defend it. I, I know there's a lot of people who try to, you know, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, EDP 445, free my bro. He did nothing wrong. The only free that... Bro, that's like freeing R. Kelly, bro. You, did y'all know he made a new uh, uh album and they took that job right back down? Like, the world? I admit it. What? what? This man needs to be is having a free one hour period just, out of his day to get out of the fucking jail cell to hang out in the rec yard, right? That's the only free we should be discussing when it comes to this man. But yeah, he got caught in 4K again and uh, it's making its rounds, right? So we're going to be taking a look at a video clip here and then we're just going to go oh ahead and talk God. about it because, you know, like clip. I said, this situation already happened once, but uh, I just got a lot I want to say about this. So go ahead and I'm going to roll the footage. Go ahead and take a look at it and uh, let me know what you think. Before we get any further, though, I want to remind you guys, I just launched Optimus Comics. I was just really... His name video. is Brian. You knew, you knew what he looked like, right? What the world? All right, let's read this. All right, uh, home. This, this, all right, this is from EDP, bro. All right, thank you. Don't let anybody tell you that you aren't beautiful. Not even me. You deserve the best. And trust me, I if I was in, in Louisiana... I'll be beating your door down, smothering you with flowers and hugs. And it's just, bro, 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 bro. What's wrong with you, bro? And how, how even old is this, uh, this, this alleged person, bro? You, in your right mind. Yo, 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 all right, all right, all right. <laughs> you better prepare yourself because I'm showing you off to the entire world. I need a bucket. I need a bucket. Yeah. I was just really trolling him. Like in the group chat, like when we made that group chat, we were literally just trolling him. And Bro, like, take bait. Mm -hmm. he just took it too damn far. Like he started like personally like DMing me and like, Saying he fell for it again. Fly me out, and he's gonna like mm -hmm. nut in me and shit. So on here it says, "Don't let anyone ever tell you you aren't beautiful. Not even me. You deserve the best." I didn't, trust me, if I was in Louisiana, what the? it'd be a beat down your door, smothering you with flowers and hugs. You just better prepare yourself because I was showering you on the entire world. That's the corniest shit ever. <laughs> that video. All right, so in that video, Wait, what? I... that's the corniest. What do you say? Uh, that video you posted in the group chat when you and the other guy first added me, can you resend? It's really hot. What the? I promise not to share it with anyone. <laughs> that video. All right. So in that video, uh, you see the screenshots of the texts that are purported to be between EDP 445 and another underage girl in this whole situation. The girl is talking with someone who's apparently like interviewing her in this entire thing. And basically he's just getting outed for trying to groom another child, you know, just trying to go and get himself another cupcake. If you know what I'm saying, just trying to, you know, get himself a little bite. It's just Bro. insane to me. So uh, let's go ahead and review this message because like dude this is the craziest like weirdest shit ever because like i get simping for your girl or whatever right like i'm in a relationship man i got a girlfriend i talk sweet to her you know i'm not gonna sit here and pretend like i'm some fucking manly man who, who doesn't talk sweet but like the shit that bro's saying is just weird talking about don't let anyone ever tell you you're not beautiful not even me like what the fuck does that even mean guy Bro. like what are you talking about dude don't let anyone say you're not beautiful what the fuck is this a fucking one direction song man like come on bro this is like the most 2011 line i've ever heard which makes sense because that's probably the year that this fucking girl was born in the first place so Facts, it really kind of makes sense that he's trying to hit her with the throwback right but if i was in louisiana i'd be beating down your door smothering you with flowers and bro, whatnot bro crazy. like dude i don't know man i i feel bad for women sometimes because like i'm trying to imagine it from my point of view right Dang, dude, bro's no one's UAV, ever said bro. some shit like this to me i would be weirded out if someone was like oh i'd be beating your door down like what are you a fucking home in 
invader, bro? You gonna beat my door down, smothering me with flowers? Like, I'm 14, man. What the fuck are you talking about, my guy? Like, I, I don't know. It just, it, it just really cringy shit anyway. Like, even if he was saying this to, like, a 30-year-old woman, right? It would just be fucking weird, you know what I mean? It would just be odd and everything. So, talking about I'm showing you off to the entire world. Like, I'm pretty sure her name isn't even legally allowed to be in the newspaper yet, bro talking about i'm gonna show you off to the entire world it's probably crazy because like what probably in the next 16 years <laughs> world are you showing oh. off to motherfucker you're on the run for being a fucking pedophile looking for kids online that you can fucking eat a cupcake off of and shit talking about oh bro i'm showing you off to the entire world you better be careful trying to show him off to the entire world bro i mean but bro, then again he got uh, away with it once why would he feel like he could get away with it again right like what it, the? That, that's the thing about this whole thing right like let's go ahead and circle back here to square one because this is where it all really begins from this you know if it's all true and honestly you know i know bro, people are like, oh, you true, can't bro. just believe everything you see online I do believe this simply because the motherfucker's been caught doing this before. It's not like, you know, this is a guy Numerous with no times. accusations on his name, right? If a new Bill Cosby piece of evidence came out, I wouldn't be like, oh, wow, well, we need to fucking discern the facts on this one and see what's going on here. <laughs> like, it's more than believable that this guy would do something like this, right? So I, I'm not too doubtful of this evidence or anything here. There's been a lot of people trying to defend it like, oh, well, how did he even get her number in the first place? She had to play into it. Well, in the video, she says, oh i was trolling him we yeah. were we had apparently a group chat together and we were just kind of trolling him and whatnot that's their explanation behind it but i i don't know man like to me that doesn't really matter bro like this is a 14 or whatever year old girl 13 12 15 you know underage regardless right but and he was it doesn't serious really matter though. how he got the number there just shouldn't be communication like this that's just point blank period bro there is no world in which like this would be an acceptable thing to yeah, first of all you shouldn't be in a group chat with teens at all bro like what are you doing weird out boy say to like a child I mean, yeah, if it's like your daughter, be like, yeah, don't let anyone tell you you're not beautiful, sweetheart. You're my daughter, you know, Yeah, I, I love you, whatever, right? But, dude, not some random girl, you know, like some fucking kid you met on God knows what app or whatever. I don't know. I, I just don't really appreciate people trying to spin it around like, oh, well, how did how did they even get it, their number? You know, it's like, does it really matter? He's being a pedophile, bro. This is a fucking known pedophile who's apparently on the prowl again, right? Like, it's just, I don't know. To me, that that's not the important part of the story right what i don't get about all this right is why why is this a thing I, I i just don't get it dude like i don't know maybe i'm just not fucked up enough mentally or something but i just don't get like why out of everybody on earth you could be attracted to or whatever you just like mm, wow 14 year old girl sounds great to me bro like what what the fuck is going on my guy like wh where do the wires cross you know how many times do you gotta get hit on the head with a frying pan as a kid or something before that just like is the way that you are bro, and like you know you helmet, baby, before bro. all of this happened right you know a couple years ago he had a career he had like this whole youtube channel going people loved him i'm not gonna lie i was a huge fan of edp 445 i ain't gonna lie i've never watched edp 445 optimus you're you're probably like the one to watch him so you you probably looked up to him bro so i don't know bro i even have I don't a know cameo who video to ADP, that this bro. guy sent me that even I back paid, then you know, i've but... never used to watch him bro i've never used to watch him because like the time the type of time he used to be on you already know he, he, he a little tweak, bro. Before he was a fucking pedophile know. and everything. So he had like a following online and he had like a good job and like a good life going for him. And then he just threw it all away to just do this all day and just like go after kids. I don't get it. Like, obviously you can't come back from that. And he's tried. Don't get me wrong. He has definitely given it the attempt. This guy has come tried back to come back so many way. times on all these different social media platforms. I'm pretty sure he has a following on TikTok now of all yeah, places. Yeah, I just said and I that. just don't get like, oh, dude, out of everything you could have done right like why would you fuck up everything you had going for yourself just trying to get children bro i don't know it doesn't make sense to me i don't think it makes sense to anyone with like a normal rational brain but it's just it's such a sad fall from grace man like this guy was genuinely entertaining he was genuinely funny and then now he's just like an inexcusable despicable honestly piece of shit person i mean what else can you say about the guy sure that might sound like rough or harsh but it's like dude this guy is going around I mean, after people you could have seen it coming up in his uh the memes that people was making of him bro like the stuff that he was saying y'all kind of missed everything bro he was he was dead serious he was dead serious he was dead serious bro. that's all i gotta say bro like and they get built like that yo <laughs> 
Oh, he ain't got nothing to lose, my boy. Children. <laughs> and the thing that like is boy, the most disgusting in a couple think, years, like, out so. of all of this, right? If he's now been exposed like at least twice that I know of for trying to go after kids, you know, I'm just trying to get a cupcake. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I think I sounded more like Mickey Mouse than EDP 445 there, but you know what I'm saying, right? Like after all of this, and like I just don't get why everything was worth throwing away for this whole situation, right? Yeah, just like to fucking hang around kids and just be a weirdo, bro. Like you could have picked so many different things in the world, you know, to just be obsessed with that wasn't children. I, I don't know. To me, man, not being a pedophile is like the easiest thing I've ever done. Like it's so easy. I don't even have to subconsciously think about it, right? It just kind of happens. It's like, oh, I just don't find kids attractive. Like I, I feel like if you ever get to that point where you do feel that way, you just got to go like seek like the like best mental help possible, man. You just can't sit around and be like that. But apparently to people like EDP, it just doesn't matter. Matter, dude. <laughs> and he's basically told the world like he doesn't really give a shit. He's not sorry about what he did. He's just deflected it and acted like it never happened the whole time. So, so saying, I don't bro, know. That's... I, is it surprising to see this? Not necessarily, dude. Like, if I was in the casino, right? Not, I don't know, I'm at a fucking blackjack table, right? And I don't know, for some reason, they're like, hey, yo, you, you want to do a little side gamble here? You know the guy EDP445 online, right? And I'm like, yeah, okay. Right, yeah, I know who that is. They're like, bet on this. Is he or is he not going to do it again? I'd take like 80% of the money out of my wallet, throw it on the table and be like, he does it again, right? And it appears that I'd have been a fucking rich man walking out of the casino after that one because- Hey, 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 I might try that. I might try that, bro. I might try that. He might go, bro, he might go try it for like the 20th, 30th time, bro. He got caught once again. It just blows my mind, dude. Like, it just Why blows my fucking mind. Like, that people are so willing to throw away everything good that they have for the most just, like, morally reprehensible possible things on the planet. But yeah, I mean, uh, can I be surprised? No, I can't really be surprised. Is it disturbing? Absolutely. Should this guy be in jail? 100%. Yes, and that's bro. the real issue with all these exposés. There's no legal basis to any of this, right? You know, just showing up to someone in a fucking parking lot <laughs> that you've been tricking into trying to meet a child to explain expose them to the world right like at the end of the day <laughs> hey hey what i tell you bro but the same dude that exposed edp bro like the dude really exp he really exposed himself bro like both of them really got exposed at the same time bro because bro he got, all right, I, I don't know those they, stories that too. That doesn't really do anything mm. in a court of law, right? Like, sure, they need all I the evidence and all the that. proof and everything, but, like, from what I know, like, the police have never really been involved with this guy. Like, the cops have never, you know, arrested him or done anything about him going around trying to meet all these kids, so... I don't think it's gonna happen, you know? Like, I just, I don't, at this point, if nothing's been done about it already, I don't see anything being done about it until it goes too far. And that's what's really shitty and disgusting. With a guy like this who's just constantly getting away with doing these disgusting fucking things and getting caught with his hand in the cookie jar and everything, right? I feel like it really only emboldens him to go further and possibly test the limits even more. And in a situation like this, I think we can all pretty well agree that, like, that's pretty much the last thing anyone wants to happen like this guy does not need to be testing his boundaries more or fucking pushing the line anymore uh, right like this is okay man okay man this, is, this dude is just ratcheting bro all right uh hopefully i do not want to write to adp again bro because i'm not going to i'm not going to have him on my channel anymore because he is a weirdo